Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How's it going, man? Very good. Um, so, The Raven. Uh, when you were doing casting for this movie, what were your thoughts? Like, who did you want to get in this movie? Uh, you know, I, I, obviously you start to go for someone who would better be Forty, Edgar Allan Poe. And, you know, I thought there was like something about uh, John Cusack that hadn't sort of been exploited before. You know, like there's been so many films, people really think they know who he is. But, you know, like when I first went to uh, meet John, I thought there was like, like this sort of dark side that could be exploited. So, uh, John was uh, right there on the list and he was into the movie. So, uh, started with John and then uh, I met uh, Luke for uh, Inspector Fields. Which uh, turned out great. He's a great actor, like a fantastic English actor who's just about to break out pretty wide, I would imagine. And then Alice Eve, she played um, Emily Hamilton, who plays the, uh, the fiance who gets taken and becomes the, the object of the chase or the thriller aspect of it. And then we also, who isn't here today, is Brendan Gleeson, he plays the father. Who's, uh, quite a presence uh, on set. So yeah, I, I was lucky. I got a really great cast. I was very happy with it. Can you tell us about some of the works from Poe that are influenced the murders in this movie? Yeah, the, the, the first one uh, that happens is uh, Murders in the Room Morgue. But what the killer does, he, each killing that he does, he puts a little twist on it. You know? So there's always he's always like sort of ramping it up a little bit. So it's Murders in the Room Morgue, and then the next one he does after that is The Pit and the Pendulum. So, you know, he does a little twist to that. And then he starts sprinkling in uh, uh, different murders, you know. Uh, there's a bit from the Telltale Heart, there's a bit from the Casa de Montiato, and then there's like other sort of stories that we weave in and out. So, yeah, there's quite a few of them in there, actually. You know, the, the, the Poe uh, uh, po people out there will get them. And why is Poe such an important historical figure? You know, I think that, uh, you know, but the thing about Poe is he was like so far ahead of his time. He's like one of those guys that, one of those sort of genius level people, I guess, who don't really sort of get discovered in their time. But then they're, they're really well respected after. Although Poe, I'd have to say, like in his time, like The Raven was written in, in his time, and so people knew those and the Telltale Heart. So I think he had his finger on the zeitgeist of what was going on. But he could also project into the future and see where things were going. So he knew a lot about, or started to write about science fiction, started to write about detective fiction. So there was a whole bunch of stuff that he knew. And why did you guys want to make a movie about Poe? I just think he's such a, like, an, like, you know, an iconic character, you know. and. Lots of people know who he is and uh, respect who he is and, uh, you know, it's on the school curricula, you know, so there, there's this sort of great knowledge about him out there in the atmosphere already and I think he's a cool character like uh, John was saying in the panel, you know, he's just sort of this, this like harbinger of like goth and cool things. And so, uh, yeah, it was exciting. Very, very, very smart, very uh, literary. There was like uh, a lot of things that was attracting. I got to do some action, you know, there was a whole, a whole bunch of stuff for me. Very good. And you guys shot through Eastern Europe for most of the film. Can you talk about that experience? Yeah, I did. We, uh, we started, uh, yes, <laughs> I can talk about that. Uh, we, we started um, looking for locations. So I did like a, a sweep. Uh, through the, uh, those countries, you know, uh, at one, you know, we went to Serbia, we went to Hungary, we went to Croatia, we went to a whole bunch of places, and then what I was trying to get was like the architecture that would sort of speak to Baltimore, but not be exactly the same as Baltimore in the 1840s, so, so I could put my own sort of twist onto it. And so we ended up uh, finding all the exteriors in um, Budapest, in Hungary, uh, which was a great experience, even though we were there in the winter. Um, and then we went to Serbia to shoot all the location, uh, sorry, to shoot all the studio stuff, which uh, was also uh, good in itself. I think like Hollywood is always like sort of pushing into territories <laughs> where you uh, where you can get it cheaper and cheaper, you know. So that's why there's so much uh, offshore filming that goes on. Um, yeah, but I enjoyed it. I mean, you know, I, I would go back there. So that, that's just something. Um, is this the first time you've been to Comic Con? No, it's the uh, fourth time I've been to Comic Con actually. Uh, I, did, I came down here, last time I was down here was with Ninja Assassin, then one other time I uh, came uh, when I was in early, early pre-production on V from Vendetta, and then when that came out, I'd finished the movie, so I couldn't be here, so Natalie Portman came down, and then I've just been one other time, because I have some comic book uh, friends who are out in the hall there. Uh, so yeah, I guess I've been here a lot, I know the lay of the land pretty good, it just keeps getting bigger, right? And that's, that's what keeps happening, you know? Very good. Thank you very much. Appreciate right, you taking no, the time. No, yeah, okay. Nice to talk to you. Bye-bye. See you, man.